multi licorice, yes. Mm. This is so good. Part of traveling or planning to travel for an entire year is having downtime. Every single human needs downtime and that's what we're gonna do today. Laura made some eggs this morning. How was it? Good. Good. I ate them all. You ate them all already? It took a while to figure out how to use this new induction stovetop. It's different than a How'd gas. you figure it out? Watching a video online to figure out how it works. Apparently it heats the pot rather than the entire stovetop getting hot. How? It uses a magnetic force. I don't understand what? all of it. How incredible. Yeah. Totally different. Okay, and then the controls are down here. Yeah, it took me a while to figure out how to turn it on. It's light sensitive, so you're not pushing any actual buttons. Wow. Thanks for making eggs for us. What you doing, Caleb? Marco Poloing my friend David. So the way the kids are keeping in touch with their friends while we travel is through Marco Polo. So this is my phone, but the kids have different chats with their friends on there. When we look for an Airbnb, if there's a trampoline in the backyard, One, two, three, four, it goes high on our list. Is this the bum war? Yeah. Who's gonna win? I already won the first round. Yeah. Oh, they might go on forever. So one of my favorite things is how close the local grocery store is. Here's my buddy this morning. We're headed to the grocery store. Yep. These are ice cream boats. Gluten free. I thought gluten free would be harder here, but it's actually easier and they have a lot of options. It's been really great. So another fun thing that we're doing while we're here in Sweden is we've created a... Oh, Janae won! My legs are so tired! Good job, Janae. Anyway, we've created a Swedish playlist. It has a lot of ABBA music, Ace of Bass, and rock set. I saw the sign was a really popular song when I was a kid. But I saw the sign and it opened up my eyes. I saw the sign. We're cooking in our Airbnb, but we're trying to have it be Sweden inspired. So we're trying Swedish meatballs with lingonberry sauce and we're gonna boil some potatoes with it. And why not get some vegetables, you know? We'll just throw some vegetables in there. Caleb is a joy to shop with. He likes to carry the stuff. He's always willing to ask anybody for help and he's really good at telling what's gluten-free or not. Is he getting a little heavy? No. No, not heavy? No. <laughs> okay, we're gonna sample a bunch of these different pastries. And we're thrilled because Caleb found these gluten-free Swedish cinnamon rolls. This is the Dancing Queen Sweden's most popular song. Obviously ABBA then made Mamma Mia, which is like a Broadway musical. It's been turned into a movie. Take a chance, 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 take a chance. It must have been love, but it's over now. Anyway, that's a fun thing we can do as we're traveling the world is listen to the music, read the books, see the art of the people from the places we're visiting. So the house we're staying in has two bathrooms and both of them have faucets like this and I've never seen this before. Maybe it's common all over Europe, but I have to show you how the knobs work on their shower and their bathtub. So it's got two sides. This one turns on the water. You just twist it to turn on the water. This one has numbers on it and you twist it to get to the right temperature that you want the water to be. I think that is absolutely brilliant, especially as a parent. I feel like when I'm starting a bath or a shower for my kids, there's like waiting for it. Is it too hot? Is it too cold? You know, there's just so much adjusting, whereas this, you can hit it to the right temperature, turn on the faucet, and know that's what you're going to get. I just think that is so smart. Oh my goodness, one of my favorite singers is Swedish. Well, he's up there. He has a few songs I like. Avicii, I think that's how you pronounce it. Listen, Avicii? everyone will know this song. Oh, this is, I know this song. It's super popular. Yeah, this is yeah, a I good song. We're trying to encourage kindness within the family. And so today we challenged everybody to make a kind list. They're supposed to make a list of 10 different times today that they see someone in our family being kind to someone else. And then we're going to share those well, lists later. She was kind to me on the trampoline and I was kind to her. Whoa, that's amazing. How was she kind to you on the trampoline? She was just nice to me. 
You guys played nicely? Yeah. Awesome. Janae's kind list. This song is Swedish. No way. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cotton Eye Joe. And I would have never guessed that Cotton Eye Joe was a Swedish song. Yeah, That's incredible. Yeah. I've line danced to that many a time. What's the All line right. dance? What's the line dance? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> She's <laughs> dancing. <laughs> now Elisa's in it. Jump in. You know I don't know this. Do you know it? I could probably do it. <laughs> Here we go. I'm in. Great, bye. to be doing today was the Cotton Eye Joe line dance <laughs> and I'm out of breath. Kendra here's another Swedish song from our high school days. Really? Eagle Eye Cherry. <laughs> yeah. Sweden is a relatively smaller country, Ooh. and they've got some good stuff. Ooh. Yeah. I found the top 100 Sweden, so the most played songs here, and we're just going to be listening to it. All right, as he's starting to eat more of the salt candy, it's growing on him. I'm starting to like it. I just keep being surprised by these songs. So here's another classic by a Swedish group. And sorry we're not able to play the full songs of these for copyright reasons. What? Yeah. Right. The final countdown. I sang this when we were leaving to Sweden. You did. In the car. This is by a Swedish band called Europe. So right now I'm reviewing Elise's World Trip Journal and one of the things we're doing as part of our world school this year is each child is keeping a daily world trip journal and they enter it write it on their own all during the week, and then once a week I'm gonna sit down and go through them with them, helping them learn some of just like the grammar, um, spelling, adding details, just kind of reviewing it together. And it's really cool to see what stood out to the different kids, like hearing their voice in each of the stories and experiences. It's been really good. What was special to Elise? The don't Bye. touch the cannon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's probably going to be a theme for us. Anytime the kids touch something in any touch place, the don't touch the cannon. He was just like standing there like this. It was all of a sudden. And, like, and then this kid walks up. Don't touch the cannon! I thought it was so funny. <laughs> don't touch the cannon! Please! Stop! Chase the cannon! So one of the things we noticed when we were out exploring was how many kids, ages about 10, to 13 were out and about all on their own. Oh yeah. So yeah, like we're gonna let Elise and Isaac and Caleb head down to the lake on their own. <laughs> this bag, so far we are loving it. So it folds down into this tiny, tiny bag. So it's easy to travel with, but then it just folds out to being a full size like day pack and it's got all the like pockets and organization we need in it. It's been great. <laughs> you girls ready to go? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's jet. <laughs> so I'm taking Laura and Janae to this local pool that I saw. I'm excited to do that with them. I knew you could do it. Today we are headed to Breviksbadet. My apologies to anyone who is watching this who might actually speak Swedish. We know that we are not pronouncing things correctly, but we're doing the best we can. And we're trying. I cannot get over the gorgeousness of this forest. So I think it's really important, since we're traveling for a whole year and there's seven of us, to break off into different groups at different times. For Jeremy and I to each have alone time sometimes, for us to break off and do different things. 
just kind of gives everybody a break. Well, it is much busier today. You can see there's lots of cars in the parking lot. That's because it's the weekend. Lots of bikes in the parking lot. So this is the local swimming pool. <laughs> I got some work done and now I am heading out to just see what the older kids are up to. They've been off playing on their own, exploring the lake. <laughs> so yesterday, by the end of the day, I had over 26,000 steps. I know we're gonna be eating a lot of fun food during this world trip, but I'm hoping with the amount of walking an activity that we're doing that I can stay in shape. Stay in shape is the wrong thing to say. Get into some better shape. Oh my goodness, it smells so good in here. Oh wow. Swedish meatballs, potatoes, and vegetables. Yum. You figured out public transportation? You even beat us back. I mean, it's quick when you take the train. Yeah. I was two stops up. I had walked a long way. Yeah. Where are you? And the now you're playing have never Risk. never played the original rules. So we're making dinner and it looks amazing and it smells amazing, but somehow the oven is beeping. And we don't know why. I, I think just while we were standing in front of it, like we nudged something, but we can't figure out how to like, oh, nope, nope, that's. So part of traveling as a large family around the world is we know we're going to be cooking more at home and experiencing some of the local fare here. It makes the cost cheaper and it's also just a little easier for us. We're having a feast. Has anyone tried the lingonberry sauce? What's it called? Lingonberry. Lingon kind of nervous, but... First one to try it. Oh, it's bitter. Use like, just a little bit of it. What do you put? It is a little bit bitter. It tastes like jelly. This is very similar to Thanksgiving when we do the cranberry sauce. Cranberry sauce. That's what it tastes like. That's what I'm thinking. Salt for your licorice. Pass me some butter, mm. please. You like the lingonberry sauce? Mm -hmm. Janae is gonna win. <laughs> oh, he bounced her. <laughs> so we're just in here watching our kids play. It's always fun to kind of remind myself, those are our kids. Jeremy's like, those are our kids. It's We made them. We made those <laughs> cool people. We had a big talk about kindness today, and people have really been more kind today compared to yesterday. Yeah. So we're going to keep focusing on that for at kindness, least this next week. I feel like our kids are really kind. It's hardest, it's hardest to be kind to each other. And yeah. we're with each other a lot. And so it's kind of within the home where sometimes you get more agitated or your feelings get hurt. And so we're all making little lists today of kindness that we see around the house and sharing that with each and, other. And just trying to encourage kindness. Encouraging them to do more kind things. Yes. And we just One of the kids was like, much. I haven't seen much kindness. And I was like, well, maybe we should do some more kindness. Yeah. <laughs> like, that'll work too. So this, is how we want to travel the world. Yes, we do want to go see some iconic things and, mm -hmm. and learn about some of the things that are in different places, but we're really wanting to just adventure and explore in the simple ways together. Yeah, I ended up walking around that almost the entire lake and then I had to take public transportation home to make it on time. I was so proud of you. You're new to public transportation. And that was just so, such an adventure. It was really fun. It's fun to be adventuring. And even what's fun is we can do simple everyday things and it still feels like an adventure. Yeah. Because you don't know the grocery store inside and out and you don't know what everything means. And I mean, even just doing the laundry was an adventure. Yeah, I, we probably should check on the oven. It still might be on. We were getting ready to go to the Swedish candy shop, though. We did tell the kids that we would do that. So we need to go before it closes. We do. Is it closed? It's closed. It can't be. There are people in there. We just missed no, it. No, we didn't. No. It opens <laughs> that way. You pushed. <laughs> Those people probably thought we were pretty safe. Horrible guy, I found it. A little cart. So the bells are ringing out there, it's chiming six o'clock, and I come up and I pull, 
I couldn't get in. I was like knocking. I'm like, well, it has I'm such a big right puller. And then people came and exit. They must have thought I was crazy because I was just standing there and they open it. And I was like, <laughs> oh, it's a push. I decided I'm going to get some too. What? Yeah. You can't pass this up. Can't miss an authentic Swedish candy experience. I need my own candy. We told the kids they could get half a pound, but these are kilos. So you can get a quarter of a kilo. Everyone's candy is together on the scale and we came in just under two kilos. That's a lot of candy. A lot of candy. So this candy store is right next to the grocery store. And each time we've come to the grocery store, the kids have seen the candy store, so they've been begging us to come. We went in and checked the prices, and I told the kids we're not going to the candy store. But they asked if they could do it with their own money on our last day at this house. So that's what we did. Just wanted to let you guys know they paid for this. This is gum. Really? Eat it all. Sour gum. I got two. Woohoo! <laughs> I think I it's kind of like a box of chocolates where you don't know what it tastes like or what the texture is like. This is fun. I'm eating a Bueno Mini. Can yeah, chocolate? We have that in Puerto Rico. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's why I got it. It's the stretchiest marshmallow ever. It's got a lot of lift to it. She's eating my candy. Mine, I'm <laughs> tasting. Mine had a gooey inside, and the outside was like super hard. I thought I was gonna have to suck on it all the way, and then all of a sudden, I like bite a tiny bit, and it's like a gooey marshmallow. Mm -hmm. oh. mm. Mm. I got milk chocolate with white chocolate and it tastes so good. I got no chocolate in mine. I, I didn't something. want it to melt. It's heavier. Caleb thought that was sugar. But it's, it's salty licorice, yes! <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is salt or sugar. What do you guys guess? Sugar, sugar. is blue. Salt. It looks so good. What salt? Is it? It's sugar. Ah. Mm. Good, huh? Yeah. <gasps> the inside is gooey! Guys, look at this. Is it gum? It's gum with the red sugary inside. Wait. That's like a watermelon. This is a coconut one. Ooh. I'm eating the same one as you, Caleb. Yeah. It's pretty good. Oh, it's good. Oh my goodness. I like it's like gooey. It's, it's the coconut marshmallow Chocolate. yumminess. Oh. That looks oh, good. Damn. It's like the perfect texture. Seems like that should be in Willy Wonka's factory. Mm. That is good. Chocolate and coconut? Why don't we get it's a little tiny caterpillar? It was crawling on Janae's neck. That sounds really sad. Alright, we're going on a date. So today we were talking about Swedish artists who are singers, but there's also some of the most popular songs in America were written or produced by Swedes. Okay, you wanna hear some of the songs? Yeah, written sure. or produced or uh -huh. co-written? Blinding lights. What? What? That's Wait. so popular. A sky full of stars. Whoa! Oh, that's really? such a good song. Coldplay? Yeah. Oops, I oh, did it again by Britney what? Spears. That's okay. Shake it off by Taylor Swift. What? Okay, so payphone. What? Dang. So roar, Katy Perry's. Dang. You know. Wait, what? All like the good songs. Poker Face by Lady Gaga. Whoa! There's That's what makes you beautiful. Whoa! By One Dun, Direction. Dun, dun, dun. This is the main guy. His name is Max Martin. This is so good! <laughs> the combination of everything together. Alright, who's winning at risk? Dude, Caleb was winning. He had North America and Europe, but then Isaac and I agreed to each take one of his Country. What? They're teaming up against you? We had to. Teaming up on the little guy. I but think look, we've all been teamed up on the little guy. Have a huge battle awaiting over Africa. Yeah, I don't even and pretend to I understand this game. Yes. The kids saved most of their candy for our travel day tomorrow. So we're still doing a dessert tonight. Because I planned it. We're doing this cake, which is gluten free. And we're also trying two different flavors of ice cream. This one is pear milk chocolate. And what? this one is mystery flavor, but the picture shows chocolate and marshmallows. Should we use Google Translate? We tried, but because it's in cursive, it doesn't work. What do you I think mean, that is? It's Rocky Road! I mean, there's definitely marshmallows and chocolate. Yeah, no, not, yeah. But there's no, Rocky Road would be a chocolate base with some peanuts. And it looks like milk chocolate or hazelnuts, you know? I don't know, we're gonna have to see. This one is really unique. I have one, two, three, four, five people left. And if I get Caleb, then the game is over. All he needs is a three. Five and four. And dad won. Good night. Do you have a into downtown Stockholm. Don't touch the camera. That's, That's so interesting. I'm explaining to the kids about Alfred Nobel. <laughs> He's trying salty licorice. 
race you home. So Kendra challenged up. So did you think laundry was going to be this complicated? 